Hi, we're back at Mark's Electrical Studio and today we're checking out Samsung's UE48JU 6500 6 Series 4K Ultra High Definition LED TV. Now this is one of Samsung's new for 2015 4K TVs that bring you four times the resolution of high definition. Its technology has improved on 2014's 4K equivalent models and its ultra clear panel has pure color, mega contrast and local dimming pro along with auto depth enhancer to bring the 8 million screen pixels bursting into life. There's almost a three dimensional look to the screen and it's got more depth and more color and a PQI of 1100. The refresh rate isn't right up there with the best but with the correct setup it copes well with movement. Design wise that lovely curved screen and thin bezel were enhanced by that floating screen design and gamers looking for a low input lag will be very impressed with a claimed 27 milliseconds which is fantastic for a 4k tv at this time sound wise the 20 watts of power are enhanced well to cope with most scenarios but those people who love that big sound at the cinema might like to opt for a sound bar. The trend of taking the 3D away is on this uh, model. Many people rarely use it anyway, so would you miss it? I don't know. The smart TV interface is very straightforward and easy to use, and it includes apps for recently watched, featured, Netflix for streaming uh, content, including 4K, catch up TV, web browser and much, much more. There's screen mirroring both ways and there's voice and gesture control, but a USB camera will be needed for the latter. This is the new Smart Hub remote. You also get a standard one. Let's have a look at the interface. Okay, let's look at the source menu first. This is where you'll find all the things connected to your TV, either remotely or directly. There are four HDMI connections, composite, component showing up there. Uh, these are the USBs, a screen mirroring for your devices. Very handy to have. Uh, we'll look at the one, two, three menu next, or top menu, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's uh, voice recognition there, where you can command the TV to do what you want it to do using your voice. Lots of options along the top. Now you can even turn it off on the end. Uh, lots and lots of choice there. You can even go on the numerical keypad to pick out your favourite channel number and go directly to it. Next we'll have a look at the Smart Hub which we've just left this in its basic form. We haven't tailored it at all but there's a web browser there, USB connections. Uh, you can tailor this to suit your own needs, have all your favourite stuff. This is the featured menu where you can find uh, games and your favourite channels to watch and iPlayer and whatever. Uh, this is the apps screen. Most popular is the subcategory, but you get lots of choices there. YouTube, the BBC iPlayer we've clicked on. It's not downloaded yet, but uh, it's just to show you how easy and uh, what a friendly user interface this smart hub has now become. It's improved, we believe, from the last one, no end. Okay, let's have a look at the dimensions and the connectivity. There's an on-stand height of 680 millimeters. The width of the TV is 1,081 millimeters, and the stand depth is 284 millimeters. Off-stand, the height is 633 millimeters. Again, obviously, the width is 1,081, and the depth of the TV is 115 millimeters. Connectivity includes a shared RF stroke cable input. There's four HDMI, component, composite, two USB 2s and one USB 3. There's built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LAN, common interface, digital audio and headphone stroke speaker out. So summing up, a 4K TV with this spec at this price has got to be good. It has an excellent colourful and detailed picture with near 4K quality upscaling from lower resolutions. It has a low input lag, a very good user interface, 
and lots and lots of features. And you could have one in your home tomorrow. Free delivery with a two hour time slot from Mark's Electrical. And that's evenings and weekends included.